Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door, and I thought I would come and um, do a video to finish um, our little journal that we've been working on, um, made from the vintage book pages that are in the kit in the shop. So I just thought I would come and let's fill this baby up real quick and and finish decorating it, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. So in the pockets. I don't have anything in them yet, and I want to fill the pockets up. So let's go find the first pocket, and I have this big tub <laughs> of all kinds of vintage ephemera that I have been hoarding forever and a day. And so I decided I'm breaking into this, and I'm not hoarding it anymore. So I have a guest check here. That I thought would be cute, but I want to decorate, do something at the top. Um, you know, maybe like put some ribbon or a little tag or something up there. So let me see. I want to add a little bit of color to it. And I think I want to add some pink because y'all know me, I love my pink. So I think I'm just going to do a little loop in the corner. So we'll just cut off a piece of this and I want to kind of loop it like this. So let me trim that down. And I almost think I want to put some eyelash trim on it too, just to give it an extra, some extra little pizzazz. So let me grab some eyelash trim. Let's see. You know what I have? I guess this is kind of turning out to be kind of a, sorry about my reach in front of the camera. It's turning out to be kind of a shabby vintage style little journal. And I'm really liking the way it's coming together. The chenille snippet pockets just absolutely have made um, the little book so far. So, and I think I want to use purple and pink. And I just want a little bit. So I'm going to trim this off. My poor scissors need to be cleaned or something. So I just kind of want to... I think I want this behind the little tab. That's not doing what I want it to do. Let's see. Maybe if I go sideways with it. Yes, I talk to myself while I craft. <laughs> it's a habit. Alright, so I think if we put that there, that'll be cute. And we're going to staple it on. So I'm going to staple in two spots to make sure that I get it good and held in there. And I think maybe I want to put a button on there. Let's see if we can find us a cute little button. These are cute. My sister sent these to me for my birthday. Let's see if I can. I haven't even got to use them yet. So we're just going to snip that off. And for some reason, I just like the teal. So we're going to use that one. And I have some pink. I think I have some pink thread in here. Yeah. I just have this little drawer that I put all my extra little snippets of thread and I use them for stuff like this, like making little, you know, putting little buttons on and stuff. So let's just Well, he don't want to go in. Let's see if I can roll it together a little bit. Strings are coming apart. I 
Okay, so we'll just tie this in a little knot if I can get a hold of it. Okay, and we'll just trim it off. I have got to clean these scissors, they're pitiful. Okay, and then we'll just glue him on there. And that covers up the staples and adds a little extra special touch to the little tag. And then he'll just slide right down in the pocket. Okay, so we have one thing and I want to put a vintage playing card in there. I have some vintage playing cards that my mom Gail sent me a long time ago and I haven't even got to use any of them so let me see if I can find one I know I just saw it in here a little bit ago here we go so she sent me a pretty little vintage playing card with the Eastern Bluebirds on it so we'll add that in there and I want one more thing I tend to craft in threes so let's just see what we got um i almost think i want to use some of these little green stamps because they're super cute but I don't know that I want to use like the whole little booklet. Maybe I just want to pull one out and use it. Just to add a little something else, you know. So let's put him in there. There. And then I'll come back and put um, my scripture. Let me just see have some cute little scripture cards up here let's just find one and put him in that one's cute and I think it looks really cute with the pocket so we're gonna put him in right there so see you've got your little pocket filled up and it's not too thick so now we'll go to the next pocket And let's see, what do we want to put in this pocket? So I have these little game pieces that a friend of mine sent to me. So let's just put a couple of these in here. Uh-oh, they're too wide for the pocket, so we won't use those. Let's see what else we have. I have this pretty little um, like a serenity booklet. And I like to just pull pieces out. Oh, look, that one's pretty. Let's see. Let's just pull from the middle. I thought I had already taken this one apart, but I haven't. So let's just take him apart. the back of it's coming off a little bit well that staple just don't want to cooperate today does it there it's never that hard you know until you get on camera that's the way it always works. <laughs> Alright, so let's pull from the middle. And I like that one. And I actually like those colors with the snippet pocket. So we'll put that in there. And then I have um, these pretty um, postcards that somebody... No, I think I found these at... Um, I might have found these at um, one of my thrift stores. So we'll put one of those in there. It's just a vintage little postcard that has different kinds of churches on it. 
So we'll put one of those in there. And what else do we want? Let me see. What do we have? We have this cool little, um, I guess it's just like a blank layaway tag, but I want to put something on it. So let's, uh, let's ink it up. some pretty Tim Holtz dies or die cut pieces in here so let's see what we've got let's see if we can just make us a cute little collage on here looks like we got like a, a bright pinkish red in there that one might look cute on there so we'll sit that to the side let me just go through these real quickly I'm not really digging the yellow for some reason today. Maybe. I just am not in a yellow mood. That one's pretty too. Let's see. That one's pretty, but it's a little bit too big, I think. Roses are too big. Okay, I think we're going to play with what we have here and see what we can do with it. So, which one do we want? I think we want this one because it's it just kind of seems to fit the tag perfectly. So let's put that and let's get us a little cheesecloth because I think it would look cute with cheesecloth beneath it. Okay. I am tired of fighting with these scissors. I'm just going to wipe them off real quick. I must have gotten glue or tape or something on them because everything I'm trying to cut is sticking to them. I'm just going to take a little wipe, a little baby wipe here. Sorry, guys. You know, sometimes you just have to stop and do what you got to do. Okay should work better all right so let's just cut us a little piece of cheesecloth and we'll lay him on there and then we'll put him and I think I want like some ribbon or something some kind of lace let's see I have all kinds of little snippets of lace down here and I have fabric but I don't think I want the fabric. I just didn't like the way that looked with it. Let's see if we put that there. And then put that there. It still needs something. What do we need? I know y'all are probably yelling at me right now going, use this or use that. <laughs> and I can't hear you. I wish I could. Nope. I just don't like it. <laughs> do y'all do this? Is this how y'all? No, y'all are probably a lot more creative than I am. Y'all can probably just throw stuff together. It takes me a minute. I have to think about it. What do I want down here? It needs something at the bottom. 
maybe just a pretty piece of paper. I have some of this. Maybe we just need to cut us a strip of this. Just to give it a little bit of color. You know what? I'm just going to add it. Because if I keep playing with it, it'll take me forever to make this book. Alright. So let's see if that did what I wanted it to do. Okay. Okay. That's better. It just seems to fill it in a little better. And it helps this to pop out somewhat. Maybe I need to ink the edges of this. Let's try that. Just a little bit. Just enough to make it stand out from the background a little more. I think that helps. Okay, so I'm just going to add hot glue to this since we've got the lace and the cheesecloth behind the tag or um, behind the embellishment. And this will help to hold it down if we use the I know what I want behind here. See, my, my hot glue didn't hold real good, so let's try it again. All right, so I know I want some I think I want some of this really deep purple eyelash trim. This is new trim that I have in my shop. So I think I want to use some on this tag just to add a little bit of depth of color. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull my tag apart from my tag and my cheesecloth. I'm gonna put it between the tag and the cheesecloth, I think, is what I'm gonna do. This might be tricky, tricky, tricky. I should have put this on before I glued my embellishment down, but that's okay, because we're gonna make it work. And I have my handy dandy little skewer here that I can push it down in there with. Okay, and then I think if we put like a pretty button on there, it will kind of finish it off. So, I think I want one of these. Maybe I need smaller. Yeah, I think the smaller one will be good. So we're just going to take the shank off the back of this little button. Okay. My hands don't want to work today. Do y'all ever have those days to where your hands just don't want to cooperate with you? I think I like that. 
just something you know real collagey and simple and then what kind of a ribbon do we want up here maybe a lace let me see kind of a thin lace. Okay, here we go. I have this thin lace that I think will look pretty on here. So let's just try it. There. And then we have a cute little tag. So I want him to go in this pocket. And then you have your pocket filled up. And it's, you know, nice and decorative. Alright, let's go to our next pocket. And here is our... Oh wait, we have to put a scripture in here. And I have a different kind of scripture that I want to put in here. Let me see. Where did they go? Here we go. So let's put this one in here. He's too big, so we're going to fold him. Just like that. Okay. So now we can go to this pocket and let's see what we have in our little bag of goodies. Selena sent me, um, I bought these from her shop, these old postcards. So let's see what we have. She's cute. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's like a little recipe one. Let's see. I kind of like these colors. Lover's Lane, St. Joe. <laughs> and it has a wonderful inscription on the back. Beautiful handwriting. And I think it says 190 something. September 7th, 190. I can't see the last number, but it's uh, very vintage. So we're going to put him in here. And then I think I want. What do we want? Okay, I have these really cool little tickets that I got from Selena's shop. I think she called them the check tickets, like C Z E C H. Um, and I think I want to make like a little tag or something with a little cluster to go in there. And what else do we want in here? Okay, so I have these tags that I got from a tattered dream. So we might can use those or use one of those for I'm just peeking in here to see what all I have. Oh, that's right. I had another friend who sent me all these wonderful, wonderful vintage cards. And I think I want to add one of these in here. I love these. I think these are so super cute. So I might add that in there. And then if we make a little tag and put a little cluster on here somehow, then that would be cute to go in there. And I think we'll just go ahead and put him in here. Uh, put that cute little scripture in there. 
Okay, so I just kind of, I don't want to do a cluster on the whole tag. I just kind of want to do a cluster in one spot on the tag. So, and I think we're going to do a very simple little cluster. So let me just pull out my little cluster box here. And I have some of this, this cute little muslin. Where's my ticket? I almost think I don't want to use the ticket. I almost think I just want this with um, some cheesecloth and maybe a little eyelash trim and a button on there. I think it's how I want to do this one. So let's cut us a little piece of cheesecloth. Ooh, and I think I might use one of these vintage stamps. So if we put the cheesecloth behind this little piece of muslin, I may just put that little ticket in there because it's so stinking cute. Okay, and then I have some little vintage stamps here. Just um, pieces of stamps that are that have come off of envelopes. I forget who I got these from. So let me just see if there's one in here that might look cute with this. It's kind of big. That one might look cute. We'll hold him out. Somebody sent me these stamps and I can't remember who it was. That one's baseball. I don't think that would look very cute in a vintage book. <laughs> okay. So I think we'll go with the little eagle looking one. And then we can kind of put, so I think what I want to do, ooh, 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 I have this little strip of chenille we're going to add in here. So if I put a little strip of chenille, and then the cheesecloth, and the muslin, let me just pull these little strings off, the muslin. And then we'll put our little stamp and a more button. Maybe let's do a different kind of button. Maybe we could do a pink button. And we need something in the button. And I think cream might be cute in the button. And I think this time I want to go through the back of the button. Y'all, my eyes are definitely not what they used to be. That is for sure. Okay, well that was a little difficult, but that's okay, we got it. All right, so that's how I wanna do this little cluster. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue behind each of the layers. And then I'm even gonna hot glue the stamp because it's going on fabric. And I think I want some eyelash trim behind. I do have this one. Let's just use the green part. It doesn't take very much. It's just a little bit. If we put that right there. And then we put some glue on the back of our button. And glue him down right here. I got hot glue strings everywhere. And then we just need a ribbon to go in the top. And you know what? Let's see if we can get this ribbon to go through. Because it's pretty. I love the pink. I 
I'm telling y'all, my hands just do not want to work today at all. Is it cold where y'all are at today? Because we're in the 40s here today. They're calling for snow tonight, and I swear I will cry like a baby if it snows. I am not a fan of snow. I don't like the mess that it makes. I don't like the cold. And I'm telling y'all, we did not get much of a, a fall here. We got maybe two weeks of fall, and that was about it. Okay, so we're going to slide him right down in there, and then that pocket's decorated. Super cute. Now, whoever gets this book, you can add pages here. You can wash them on. You can sew them on if you're really good with your sewing machine and can get it up under there. Or you can just glue it on. So there's lots of spaces to add extra pages in here. Now, I want to put something underneath this just to show whoever gets it that it is a tuck spot. So let me see what I have in my little box of goodies over here. I, want some, I don't want something that's going to be huge and take up, you know, so much space that it's overwhelmed. Um, I had some vintage playing cards in here that I kind of wanted to put up in there. Maybe I put them in this other spot. Let me see. What something colorful. Okay, here we go. I have these little vintage playing cards. I think I got these from Selena with the little cute little mushrooms on them. And that'll be cute. And it's just to kind of let whoever gets the book know that, you know, that can be used as a tuck spot. And I think there's another one up here somewhere. Let's go find it real quick and put something in it. While we're putting... I know I did one because it had the little camper on it, and I thought it was so cute with the camper. There we go. Okay. So let's find something to just slide up under there. And I'm thinking that it would be cute to put just like a coffee dyed um, index card in there. So let me grab one. And that just kind of lets the person who gets it know. Should I put it this way? Let's put it that way. Okay. So then we have one more pocket to fill in. And it's this one right here. And I, I just saw something I wanted to put in this pocket. Okay. So I have this bingo card. I want to put him in here. A vintage bingo card. There was something else I wanted in it. What else did I see? looking guys hang on for me <coughs> okay this is pretty oh I know what I have I know what I want to put in here I have some vintage um, greeting cards and then I have this so I want to put one of these. I got these from Kristen over at Rock Paper Treasures. So y'all run over and check her shop out. Let me grab a greeting card. I found these really pretty vintage floral greeting cards, but these might be too big. Let me. I don't think these are going to fit in that pocket, but I have some more. So let me just go back to my little drawer of goodies and find one. This one's pretty. It's got pretty little roses on it. Let's see, he's not going to fit either. He's too wide. Let's find another one. We need a skinny one. Oh, this one's pretty. Isn't that one pretty? Skinny with the pinks. 
and it hasn't been used so I don't know a year on it but it even has the envelope that comes with it so I'm going to leave the envelope in there with it and we'll just add that into the pocket just like that and then I think one more thing um, I do want a scripture card in here so let's find a pretty little scripture card I can get him to slide down in there. Here we go. And then I want a vintage um, playing card. I have some really pretty ones that are um, butterflies. And I want to have one of those in there. Super pretty. So that pocket is filled. And I think what I'm going to do. Oh, I also wanted to put my tag in the back of the journal. So... I always try to t uh, to put my tag in so that it can be used as like a little pocket. And that way it's multi-purpose. And I always get too much glue. Let me check my time. I kind of can't see. Okay, we're at 36 minutes, so, but that's okay because we're almost finished. And then in the front here, I wanted to go in and put a library pocket. So let me grab one. Have one here. And I'm doing this book kind of very plain and simple. Uh, and there's a reason for that. And I'll tell you at the end of the video why, why I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue all over the back of this. Because it has this tape strip down the middle, you wouldn't be able to use it for a pocket. Because whatever you try to slide into the pocket would stick to that tape strip. So, we're just going to put him down all the way. Just like that. Okay. So, there was a whole lot more that I wanted to do to this book. But then I came up with this idea and I thought, you know what, that's what I'm going to do. So what I want to do at this point is do a quick flip through, show you all the book, and then I'm going to give it away. <laughs> I am going to give this little book away. Um, I have a giveaway that I'm doing on this Friday, so maybe I'll do this giveaway on Monday. So... Um, that's why I didn't add a whole, whole lot of stuff because I want whoever gets the book to be able to put their own touches on it. Like they can decorate um, the library pocket. They can decorate the cover of the journal and add their goodies in and make it their own. So here's the flip through. I think it's turned out so super cute. I'm in love with the chenille pockets. I love, love, love this paper. It's like a... Kind of like a blueprint paper, I guess. So whoever gets it will be able to put their pictures in. They'll be able to put a journal in it. They'll be able to put their own decorations in it. And kind of to make it their own. So that's why I didn't super embellish the journal. So here is the flip through. I think it turned out so stinking cute with all of these vintage book pages. And this just kind of shows you what you can do with the packs that are in my shop. And, you know, with you can make a super cute little journal out of just the book pages. You don't have to go out and buy packs of paper or anything. So what I'm going to do is on Monday, um, if you just want to leave a comment below about what you think about the journal, and um, on Monday, I will do a drawing from all of the comments. And whoever is picked, I'll probably do it on random.org again. And you'll get this journal. So, leave me comments, questions you have below. Hit like, hit subscribe. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Y'all have a great day. Big hugs.